Hello everyone, and welcome to our latest Champion Spotlight. Today is a special day, a glorious day even. As you may know, we just released Episode 1 of Raid Call of the Arbiter. In this 10-part animated limited series, we dive deep into Teleria and uncover the backstories of many of the champions living in the dark fantasy world we know and love. As a special bonus, we're going to be adding some new characters that appear in Raid Call of the Arbiter as Champions in Raid, and our first edition deserves some attention. Today's spotlight centers on Galek's father and orc chieftain, Artak. Driven by an all-consuming desire for revenge, Artak and Galek don't exactly see eye to eye. If you thought he looked fierce in Raid Call of the Arbiter, he's even scarier when you see him in-game. Before we dive into Artak's fearsome set of skills, let's learn what drives his rage-fueled quest for vengeance. If you've been reading the character bios that have recently been added to Raid, you may know that many orcs considered K-Rock as their ancestral homeland that were driven out over the course of Teleria's long, bloody history. In the ruinous Galen War, the orcs, along with the Lizardmen, Ogren, and Skinwalkers, tried to invade Kayrock, but were soundly defeated by the Telerian League. Many orc clans who were left scattered by the failed invasion stayed in Kayrock, but faced a grueling existence under constant threat of retribution from the Banner Lords. Artak was born into one of these clans, and though his own father did his best to maintain peace with the Banner Lords, he was eventually betrayed. Despite years of loyal service for a local duke, Artak's clan was stripped of their lands and banished. From that day forward, Artak swore an oath of vengeance against all humans. Peace was no longer an option. Only violence could right this wrong. So, Artak's a pretty angry guy. As we see in Episode 1, Gaelic's not quite on board with his dad's whole murder and pillage vendetta and chooses to go his own way. Artak's got some rage issues, so how does that manifest in battle? He's a legendary HP champion, so he's able to take a beating and deal one out in turn. His fiery lust for vengeance literally emerges in many of his attacks, as Artak's a master of HP burn. Flame shields up, everyone, as we dive into his skills. First off, Artak's not one for precision strikes. All of his active skills, including his default skill, are AoE attacks. Let's begin with Chaos Razor, Artak's default skill. He cleaves through all enemies and has a chance to extend any HP burn debuffs on them by one turn. Simple, but effective. Artak will be your best buddy for clearing out crowds of minions fast. Next up, Artak's second skill, Dogs of War. First, he activates any and all HP burn debuffs on the enemy team, then summons a horde of flaming spectral hounds to rip his foes limb from limb. He then caps this off with a chance to place a 50% decrease attack debuff on enemy champions. What a nice guy. Another simple skill, but the combo of the HP burn activation and AoE damage can deal a big chunk of damage to your opponent. Plus, the decrease attack debuffs will take the sting out of your enemy's next strike. With our attack skills relying heavily on HP burn, he must have some way to replace the debuff himself, right? Well, his third skill, Purifier, and yes, that pun is intended, will have his enemies feeling the burn. It's a two-hit attack, with the first hit having a high chance of placing a two-turn HP burn debuff on all enemies. So that's the fire part of the skill covered. Let's talk about the pun bit. For each HP burn Artak places with this skill, he'll restore 10% of his destroyed max HP. This will be super handy against bosses like the Hydra or the Sand Devil, and impacts his passive skill, which we'll get into soon. And if Artak doesn't land any HP burn debuffs, he'll heal by 5% of his max HP for each resisted or otherwise blocked burn. Not bad for a consolation prize. Now, on to Artak's unique feature, his Burning Blood passive skill. Whenever an HP burn debuff activates, 5% of Artak's max HP gets destroyed. This stacks up to 50% and applies to any HP burn activation, whether it's on your team or the enemy team. Now, before you ask why Artak would axe himself in the foot, this Burning Blood enhances his strength. For each percent of his max HP that gets destroyed, Artak's damage, critical damage, and defense are increased by 1%, with his speed and resistance also increasing by 2 points. This bonus can rack up super quickly, and with Artak being an HP champion, he's got plenty of health to spare without him turning into a glass cannon. So, to get the most out of this furious warlord, you'll need to balance the stat boost from Burning Blood with his rapidly diminishing health pool. Timing your purifier uses will be essential. That's it for Artak's skills, so let's recap. He's tough, but gets up to half of his own HP destroyed thanks to his passive, but gets some serious stat and damage boosts in return. 
All of his attacks are AoEs, and he relies heavily on HP burn. So pair him up with fellow pyromaniacs to turn your foes to ash. He'll be a great pick against bosses who aren't immune to HP burn, or have minions that need to be cremated. As you can imagine, your artifact picks for Artek should focus on maxing out his HP and ensuring he has enough accuracy to land his debuffs consistently. Otherwise, you'll never unlock this Raging Warrior's true potential. Thanks to Burning Blood, Artek will boost his own speed, so don't worry too much about speed substats on your gear. Artifact sets to give Artek a shield are also a good option, as they'll make up for his destroyed HP. Or you can pair him up with champions that can apply shield buffs. Finally, a reminder on how to get this mighty orc warlord on your side. Just log in to raid seven times between May 18th and July 24th, and Artak will be yours. And if you miss this window, Artak will be available from shards after this seven-day loyalty program ends. So, don't miss your chance to stage the most awkward family reunion between Gaelic and Artak by forcing them to fight together. I'm sure some father-son bonding will heal all of their issues. And that brings this spotlight to a close. Be sure to hit like and subscribe, and check out the first raid, Call of the Arbiter episode. Follow the link in the description to see episode 1, with new episodes dropping at 9 a.m. CDT every Thursday, right here on YouTube. Teleria is coming alive like never before, and you'll be right in the middle of it. See you all next time, and happy raiding!